are we going to both the moon and Mars in the next few years? The real question, Deborah, kind of the elephant in the room is Elon Musk's Starship. It had two spectacular explosions this year. It sure uh, and did. I think that shook the resolve of some people outside of SpaceX about whether we can rely on this because if NASA wants to go to the moon this decade, Starship has to work. And so, you know, you talked about can we do moon and Mars at the same time? And I think the, the question really comes down to, again, does the Starship architecture work? Because if SpaceX gets to the point where they're doing lunar landings, it means they've reached the point where they can launch a dozen Starships a month and they've, they've worked out refueling. And then instead of shooting the Starship off to the moon, you just shoot it off to Mars. The energy required to do that really isn't all that different. It's just, you know, Starship will be coasting quite a bit longer, obviously, on the way to Mars. But even that is not the ultimate problem, is it? Isn't the ultimate problem, how will they land on Mars? I mean, the, the reality is they're going to get landing figured out really well on the moon, right? Because there's going to be people on board that vehicle. So they're going to have to really understand all of that and be successful with that. Now you get to Mars, it's actually easier to land on Mars because you've got a bit of atmosphere to work with. And so if, I think what we learn on the moon will be largely applicable to, to fine tuning algorithms to land on Mars. So, so we got to get that starship into- It's got to stop blowing up. It's got to stop blowing up. There you go.